Good morning. I'm on a beach. That's the sea. Let's see if just once I can keep my feet dry. Good morning. In my last video I talked about my mission for 2018. Uh, do more, go further. But sometimes other things in life kind of have to take precedent and this week I've pretty much done nothing and gone nowhere. But I have managed to get out today. Um, it's about half an hour before sunrise and I've come back to player de Caleta or player Caleta. Um, again, I'll put the name on here so that you know where I'm talking about. Um, it's actually the little beach that I found uh, three weeks ago when I came out wandering. And I took some shots here in the afternoon and managed to get pretty well soaked up to the knees because I wasn't paying attention to the waves. Um, today I'm hoping to stay dry, but I did say when I was here last time that I'd come back to do an early morning shoot. Now, to be fair, these are not the conditions that I had in mind. Uh, I was really thinking of uh, a bit of cloud, a bit of sun and some nice big waves. But what I've actually got is a lot of very heavy cloud. Not sure if the sun's even going to break through this morning. Um, and in fact, it keeps trying to rain. In fact, on the drive here, it was raining the whole way. Um, but nevertheless, it makes for a rather different scene. So I'm going to just have a quick nose around, try and come up with uh, a composition that I think will work with these conditions. I'm thinking possibly emphasizing a bit of the drama in the sky, maybe a long exposure. Anyway, I'll have a nosey around, see what we can find. Okay, so I've set up for a shot. Um, quite low down, tripod's not extended at all. Um, I'm using a wide angle lens, it's a 10 to 20 on my uh, crop sensor camera and I'm doing a shot at uh, f16. Really the, the waves breaking up the beach are the foreground interest. Then we've got a rock kind of out here and then the sky beyond. Um, I'm going for 15 seconds and we'll see what that looks like. That actually looks quite nice. There's quite a nice kind of steely blue colour in the water and in the sky and with the long exposure blurring the waves. It's actually quite an interesting shot, it's a little bit different. Um, I've got that one, I'm going to have a look around and see if I can find something else. Okay, I've got a, a different angle. I've moved around. What I'm trying to do is get the waves as they break coming in from the bottom left hand side of the frame. I'm trying to fit in all of that big rock. And that rock is sitting roughly on the bottom right hand intersection of the thirds. Then we've got the horizon going across and then the sky above. It's getting brighter now. We're only about eight or nine minutes from sunrise, although I don't think we're going to see anything. Uh, F16 is giving me five seconds. I think I'll put some filters on to extend the exposure to enhance that effect. And then as it gets a bit brighter, I'll go for a faster shutter speed to try and get a bit more texture and movement in the waves. I 
fitted a six stop MD filter. Did a test shot at ISO 6400 and that gave me two seconds. So in theory that's gonna be two minutes. But it's starting to rain, so I'm not sure this is going to work because I'm gonna end up with uh, water spots on the filter, I think. Still, we'll give it a go. I've done the two second exposure. Now, this camera suffers from long exposure noise. So if I shoot a two minute exposure, then I'm gonna end up with a very noisy image. But I do use the in-camera noise reduction, which basically takes uh, another two minute shot with the shutter closed so that it should in theory be a completely dark image and then the camera basically subtracts the hot spots and noise from the dark image or from the good image that appear in the dark image. It actually works pretty well and I've actually done um, in testing I've done exposures of like eight and even ten minutes and they've been pretty good from a noise point of view but it is one of the downsides to uh, certainly to this camera, but I think it's a downside to a lot of crop sensor cameras with, with reasonably high megapixels. Of course the other downside is that a two minute exposure actually takes four minutes before you know if you've got anything. Okay, that's worked and that actually looks quite nice. It's got quite a nice um, ethereal feel to it. Oh, I'm quite happy with that, that's quite a nice shot. Again it's got those sort of pale um, blues and steely blues in there. Yeah that's quite nice but I think that'll do for the long exposure so I'm going to take the uh, ND filter off now. Okay, I've changed the composition. Before, I was favouring the sky, so I had about two-thirds sky, one-third foreground, and that big rock was sitting on the lower right-hand third intersection point. I've changed it now so that I've got two-thirds foreground and one-third sky. In fact, I've probably got slightly more than two-thirds foreground, because I'm probably going to crop this down to more like a 16 by 9 ratio. But again, it's just a slightly different composition taken from basically exactly the same place. At the moment, I'm at half a second. And again, it's just waiting for the ideal waves. Okay, I've got the shots I wanted up there. And I thought I'd come down this end here. There's this little cluster of rocks and the waves are breaking over them. It's a very, very simple composition. I've got the rocks on the bottom. <laughs> I thought I was getting wet feet again. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, I've got the rocks on the bottom right third intersection, the waves breaking around them, the sea going out, and then the sky. Really simple, but this could be really effective. And I've got wet feet. <laughs> Knew it was going to happen. Just checking the lens for water spots. So I'm still shooting with a wide angle lens. No filters, uh, 10 millimeters, still at f16, and at the moment, ah, about a quarter of a second, I think. Be careful kneeling down on pebble beaches, they hurt. Yeah, quarter of a second. I want to try and get a slightly different feel to this. So I've gone to f11 to get a slightly faster shutter speed. So I've now got about an eighth of a second. Again, it's just about capturing the, the right waves as they break on the rocks. And all I'll do later on is I'll decide which one looks best. Okay, that's it. <clears throat> We've got a little bit of colour in the sky, not much, but very pleasant. I think I've got as many shots of these uh, rocks with the waves breaking over them as I can cope with. This is the only chance I'm going to get to come out and shoot this week, so that's it for this week's video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Just a reminder that likes, shares, comments and subscribes are all very much appreciated and actually very helpful to me. So. Uh, until next week, bye.